Question regarding yeah. team and Paul, entrepreneurship and, and whether you should jump at every opportunity when you're trying to balance school and business as much as possible. Look, in my experience, I'd say jump. You know, um, the sooner you jump, the better, because you you, you learn so much from trying and failing. Um, if you if you don't try now, you might just try a little bit too late. You know, so learn now while you're 16. By 18, you'll have an experience of some sort. You'll know what to, what what to take and what not to take. You know, it doesn't matter how many. You know, and I'm I'm from that school that always used to calculate and like no I'm not ready and and with growing up I've learned that actually I've wasted so much time on trying to plan things that I don't even know you know so I go all in and I'll get the experience as I as I as I get on with it basically. I, I, I couldn't agree more. I, I am I'm you've there's so much more upside than downside in taking risk at a young age. It's just practical. It's practical to go high risk, high reward in your teens and 20s. It's just life practical. And I, and I think the reason people don't is they love their parents or grandparents or somebody in their life that they don't want to disappoint by doing the thing that seems crazy to that elder. And you know, I don't want to sit on a pedestal and say, you know, do, you know, do that. But I understand what's stopping them. I just want to challenge people to recognize that regret is very scary. And what ends up happening is you're protecting your parents' feelings in your 20s by doing the thing you want them to do, but how it manifests is in a relationship in your 40s, 50s, and 60s with your parents that is less healthy because you start blaming them for not taking those jumps. And so I feel like you can fight with your parents now or later and I just think it works out much better in the upfront.